All aspects of my life have been touched in one way or another by the seven years that I spent at Georgetown. Georgetown took a chance on me, so as had faith in me, I, I have faith in them. I kind of pinch myself still and say, for the rest of my life, I'm a Hoya. Georgetown has given me an extended family. And wherever I go, I know I have a home. <laughs> Thinking and seeing through the eyes of others is important. Georgetown prepared me very well to do that. Service is the hallmark of Georgetown alumni. Another reason that this is the only place to be. That's in the DNA of this place, and it became a major part of my existence. Came up here as an 18-year-old freshman from Miami and left a 25-year-old after having spent four years undergraduate and then three years in law school. It really changed my life. It started for me as sports editor of the Hoya. I started the second week of my freshman year. This was during the uh, second year of the Big East Conference and ended with the 1982 Final Four in New Orleans. Still one of the great experiences of my uh, undergraduate experience to be on press row for the Final Four that year. It was something that really followed me throughout my life. For me, it was that group of friends that always draws me back. For the first time, we all kind of came into our own. That is just a good feeling to go back and realize that that happened to Georgetown. Third and fourth year of medical school, one starts on the wards in the hospital. There were times in the middle of the night when you find yourself all alone in a very stressful situation. And it was really then that I appreciated the knowledge and education I'd received. The university said that to whom much is given, much is expected, and that was always something that came across in everything we did. I worked with the Center for Minority Student Affairs, and I mentored someone, which really started me off on what I would consider a, a lifelong path of mentoring. When I was graduating, my mentor said to me, so you're going off to get a PhD and you want to come back as a professor somewhere. Where would you like to teach? I said, well, I'd love to teach someplace like Georgetown. The likelihood that there would be a job for me when I happened to be on the job market, precisely in my field, that likelihood was almost zero. But it happened. That would be one general category. If I love something the most, it's being in the classroom. That's where I'm, I'm fully myself. What's the remaining thing we I would say the work has been all-consuming both the theological work and the administrative work, seeing a different side of the university has been completely engaging. And it's been a great perch to have, a privilege to serve in this capacity, and also to have taught for so many years, I'll be returning to the faculty soon, to my first love, which is teaching and writing. When we returned to Washington, D.C., the medical school reached out to get us involved. It was then that I really saw the impact of the alumni community. I'm one of the advisors for our pre-medical students, and I advise them on their path to a professional school. I see the hope, uh, the intellectual curiosity, and the drive of our students, and it's an honor and a great joy. Because of all those great feelings uh, that I have about Georgetown, I also do what I can to be an ambassador for the school in South Florida. Serving as co-chair for John Carroll 2014 in Miami was really one of the most meaningful activities that I've been involved with at, at Georgetown. There's nothing like having your children attend your alma mater to strengthen that bond. The Georgetown Technology Alliance is really focused on bringing people in the tech field together and educating students on what opportunities there are for them in technology. And when we started, it was a pretty small group. Our events would maybe have 30 people. But now, whenever we do an event, you know, we're sold out. It's building tremendous community on the West Coast. During homecoming weekend, you found very few people of color coming back because there was nothing that they felt was pointed towards their experience. We decided that you have to be part of the solution. A group of alumni came together to establish the Patrick Healy Dinner. And, you know, hail Georgetown.
When I volunteer with Georgetown at the end of the day, I know there's an impact. Somebody's life will be influenced. My first appearance at an alumni association meeting, I walked in the door, uh, didn't know anybody. And a gentleman introduced himself and said, welcome, you're among friends. I've never forgotten that. And so when we have new members come to the Board of Governors, I always make sure that we understand that they are not just volunteers, but they are friends. What I want to do as much as possible is meet with alumni groups, serve in any way possible to try to bring more faculty together with alums. People might say, anybody's crazy to want to do fundraising. I like fundraising because I love Georgetown. Once a month, Marie and I host students at our house, 20 at a time. What's your major? I'm a bio major. And I always say to them, if you come to Gillis' house, you've got to sing for your supper. So we have a great meal and it's fun and they get to know each other. But then I also ask them questions. What do you love about Georgetown? So in a sense, they're my focus group. Oh, that's great. What an opportunity. I've been honored to present the John Carroll Award in the past. I never thought the day would come that I would be receiving this. I've always been involved as a volunteer. It was something I wanted to do but I never realized that what I was doing stood out to anyone. I'm really honored to win a John Carroll Award. And quite frankly, humbling, understanding what it signifies and what it means. I look at it as an opportunity for recognition and to build upon the faith that Georgetown has placed in me over the years. The John Carroll Award is just the culmination of being able to be contributing in some way over a course of years. As I tell students in the New Student Orientation Weekend, look around, these are the people who will dance at your wedding. And indeed they do. And then, later on, you meet them in Austin, Texas, and you two step together.